All right, guys. I uh, got a Nissan Max on my head, 2001. And um, customers complained the heat did not work. First thing I did was, first thing, guys, if you have a car, your heat does not work. Check the antifreeze in the radiator, all right? First thing, that's number one, all right? Number one thing to do if your heat does not work on your car. It could be Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Acura, BMW, Mercedes, any car. Electric car, if you have a hybrid, a little different. Even those, I can say they work off of antifreeze, but I would have to look more into that. But anyways, the problem with this car was it was low on antifreeze, all right? And uh, what I did was, uh, first of all, I went in the car. I started the car. All right, guys, I started the car. And I put the fan on. And I put the temperature on high and I there's no heat in here. Right now the car is cold, but once it heats up, the temperature goes up like halfway. You should have heat, all right? And what I did was I revved the car. As soon as I revved the car, I started getting a lot of hot air. That can only mean two things, guys. One, number one thing, either your heater core is clogged up. Because when you rev it, when you see over the engine, the pump is pushing so much antifreeze. If your heater core is clogged up, it's gonna try to get through. But if you have low on antifreeze, it's gonna push some of the antifreeze into the heater core. You'll start getting a hot air, right? So if you the the whole seat heat system, let me turn this off. Just want to describe to you guys. You know, if you don't, if your heat is not working, just do this. You know, a lot of people they go to mechanic, and that's the first thing the mechanic does. Number one thing the mechanic does is he checks your antifreeze. So all you do is you open this cap right here, all right? Make sure your car is cold. You can't do this when it's hot because it's gonna have a lot of pressure on it. It's gonna just shoot out and burn you, all right? So that's why, you see that? I got antifreeze now in there and I topped it off already and I let the car run. This, ha this all I checked yesterday, but then I decided, you know what? Let me make a video. Because a lot of people out there, they go to mechanic and the mechanic's going to hit them with a big bill. And he probably put antifreeze for you. For It's going to cost you 10 bucks, 12, 15 bucks, let's put it that way. Good antifreeze. It's going to be green color. It's going to be probably peak. And it's going to be only like 10, 15, 20 dollars, no more than that. Top this off. Top the reservoir off. A lot of cars have radiator cap here. Some are hidden with cover. Toyota Avalons, they have it like in this car area right here, Lexus, some of the Lexus, the pipe runs from the radiator, it's right here, all right? Some cars have like a Chrysler 300, it'll have a reservoir right here with a plastic cap on it, that's, it's like a pressure system, the reservoir itself is pressured, some cars have it on this side, but just check your antifreeze, guys, if you don't check your antifreeze, you're going to be spending a couple of hundred thousand dollars just to get your heat running. And the problem is not really a big deal. But if your antifreeze is leaking, do check it. If it's leaking, and uh, then you got to, you know, have it checked out, fixed, you know. A lot of things can leak. Water pump can leak. The radiator can leak. Hoses. A lot of things can leak. All right, guys? So please, guys, check your system, all right? For antifreeze, if your car is not working on heat, and uh, if you're getting mild air, it could be the same problem. But uh, all you have to do is get to that radiator cap, check the antifreeze. That's number one. All right, and then uh, right back down here somewhere, you'll have a couple of. This is very difficult to get to this car, but I got heater core pipes. You can feel those. If one is hot, the other one is cold, then uh, it's obvious. You know you have a problem with the. Uh, Heater core. Just check the antifreeze. That's the main thing, guys, because the whole system works with the antifreeze. Hot antifreeze enters your heater core, and that's how you get the heat. The blower fan blows air to give you hot air. So what it does is the heater core is hot, and the fan blows air on it, and the hot air, cold air travels through it, heats up, and then throws it on your face. Simple, guys. All right, guys, thank you. Subscribe. Bye bye and I will see you on the next one. If you have any questions, your heat does not work, let me know. We'll discuss little little things and we'll get to a solution. 
least it'd be a smaller startup, alright guys? Bye bye.